What's up, everyone? It's Enrique, a.k.a. the Aries Gamer with Basement Radio Arcade, and I am bringing you guys my final thoughts on Halo 5. Finally had the opportunity to um, to beat the game, so um, I'm going to jump right in and talk about the story. That's kind of been a point of contention for uh, some of the game reviewers and some folks who have played this game. And, um, you know, I can understand um, maybe, you know, some of the, the points that were made about uh, the story kind of being a, a weak spot uh, for this particular uh, Halo uh, game. And uh, I think some of that, well, well, I think a lot of that has to do with um, the introduction of uh, Spartan Locke, uh, Fireteam Osiris. Um, you know, we know who Master Chief is, but we, we actually get to meet and play um, with uh, his team or his squad, uh, Blue Team. So, um, you know, what we, what we don't have uh, in this game is uh, kind, of a, kind of a fleshing out, if you will, uh, of some of the new characters that we're seeing. So uh, it's definitely an opportunity, I think, in the future to, uh, for 343i to kind of expand upon. And I think they will. I think this is kind of a uh, transitional point for the franchise where we're being introduced to new characters and we're going to see the Halo franchise expand because, hey, if you're familiar with the books, if you're familiar with the Halo lore, you know that this is a big big universe it's it, there's so much history um in this game that um you know that uh uh that even halo 5 uh, really didn't get into um with some of the uh the new characters that we're seeing so for example um master chief and and, and uh, the blue team i mean this is a squadron of soldiers who goes back um who's actually they've seen combat prior to uh the events of the first halo combat evolve game and they've known each other since they were children. If you know, if you have some history or, or knowledge of the the Spartan program, you'll know that um, it was uh, 74 kids or children that were abducted at the age of six uh, to uh, be part of the Spartan program. And and actually, they were you know abducted at night without the knowledge of their parents and replaced with clones. Uh, and these clones, believe it or not, actually uh, grew and, and lived to be old and died of old age. And and so you know the um, uh, Master Chief and Blue Team, uh, they grew up together, they, they fought together, they, um, you know, developed this bond, they became family. And so, um, you know, that there's there's a point of the game that's actually referred to, and I think it's, I think it was Spartan Locke who, who made uh, mention of this. Uh, you know, one of his um, uh, fire team members was asking, you know, why, why are they falling Master Chief if he's, you know, AWOL? And uh, the response was, well, you know, they're, they're, they're like family. And um, they very much are like family. They're, so there's this deep-rooted uh, bond, this deep family bond between uh, Master Chief and Blue Team. If you think about, you know, kids being abducted from their parents at age six to be part of this uh, program to develop super soldiers, um, you know, it's not surprising that they follow Master Chief uh, in this later adventure in, uh, the he in, in Halo 5. So... Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I really do think this is kind of a pivotal point or turning point for the franchise. I think we're going to kind of see an expansion of the Halo world uh, moving forward with this game. So, um, obviously the game, um, you know, visually looks impressive if you're looking at the cinematic cutscene here. Um, it's one of the best uh, Halo games <laughs> Uh, that I played, best looking Halo games that I played, uh, to no surprise given the uh, technology that's behind the Xbox One. Um, in the game, uh, and there's a lot, of t um, a lot of talk of the game running at 60 frames a second, uh, it runs super smooth, uh, and the gameplay plays, the gameplay mechanics are, are, are great in this game. Uh, 343i did a great job with um, the combat, uh, there's definitely a lot of action in this game, uh, the gunfire, the sound effects are great. And, um, you know, if you're a Halo fan, you're definitely not going to be disappointed by this game. Uh, this is definitely, uh, in, in my opinion, a game that uh, is a must-play for the Xbox One. If you own an Xbox One, um, you know, I would encourage you uh, to definitely pick up this game. And, um, you know, 343i did a great job with the um, online multiplayer piece. It's, uh, the, you know, the one part that got a lot of, um, you know, favorable reviews and many of the reviews that were written about this game. Um, and it was, you know, one of the things that was a, a strong point for this game. And with the introduction of Warzone, uh, Warzone's a great addition, you know, as it, um, you know, gives uh, gamers the ability to uh, play the multiplayer um, and contribute in, in different ways to help the team win by uh, assessing points. So, uh, great game, guys. Definitely check it out. And uh, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. We could use that. The other colonies, there are more guards.